Hi, so the goal of this uh, quick tutorial is to show you how to export all of your codes. Every line of text that has been coded at each, at each parent, child, and lower level child. So we want to be able to print out the hierarchy of not only just the parent nodes when it's aggregated or the child nodes. We want to print it out all as one so that I can send a document to my team and they can see where everything has been coded at what level. Uh, so I was playing around with this and I was, if you try to select a parent node and a child node, uh, you'll notice that you can't select, you can only select nodes at the same hierarchy. Uh, so I can select all of these here, but I can't go above that. So I can't export it all at once uh, with using the export tool. The one option that uh, NVivo offers or suggests is they say to aggregate coding from children, but what that does is that pulls all of the coding under this parent node of confirmatory factor analysis for all of these into the confirmatory factor analysis, but you cannot you cannot tell where it's coded at what level of the child nodes. So the solution that I found on this is if we go to new report, new report via wizard, uh, you're gonna to wanna to select from view and you'll hit codes. Uh, then hit next and you'll have several options here. The two options that are that are necessary to be able to print out a list of all of the uh, items or all of the parent nodes and child nodes. Uh, the first thing to select, go to codes and you're gonna have this hierarchical name. So what a hierarchical name will be, it will be one, let's say we're looking for this Y CFA child node the hierarchical name will be one confirmatory factor analysis slash one C difference between EFA and CFA slash YCFA. Uh, and that will be the hierarchical name. The other thing that you will want to do is you want to go down to the coded, coded file dot coded coding reference and select coded text, add that as well. And that will be all of the coded text that you have uh, that you've included uh, when you've coded all of your data. Uh, there are several other options here that you may want to include. Uh, you might want the parent name, you, want my, you might want the order, you might want who created it by, uh, but to just get the hierarchical name with just the coded data, these are the only two things that you will need. So let's hit next. Uh, we'll go a couple more pages. Uh, and I organize mine, but you may decide that you want to order them uh, by one of the variables that you're using, uh, ascending or descending, if you so choose. Uh, the final one option that you'll want to select is landscape. This will just make it, it'll print out a little bit more pretty. Uh, you, can, you can use portrait, it doesn't make a difference, but it'll just make it a little bit easier to work with. So select next, next, and we'll need to uh, name this. So we'll just call it new report output. Select finish and it will create the report. As you'll see it's kind of hard to read this report in NVivo so let's export this report out to a Word document. So we select the report, uh, we hit export and we'll just keep it the same name, file name, new report dot new dot report dot output and we'll save it as a Word document. Select save and then let's now open this back up. We'll open this file up. And well, this is the old one that I was working on, but you will now see uh, the hierarchical name. It will have the parent node, the parent node and the first child node and all of the associated parent and child nodes. Uh, so this one, remember I said it would be one confirmatory factor analysis slash one C difference between EFA and CFA slash Y CFA. And at each level, that something is coded at, it will include the text associated with that. Uh, and it breaks it down for each code. So each reference, every time that you have one reference, it will include it. So you'll notice that for this 1G sample size discussion with maximum likelihood techniques, we've got one, one reference, so one code, two codes, three codes. So we've got three codes. Uh, specifically in that and let's go back to in vivo just to look at that so 1g yep you see that we have three codes there and when we open it up you've got the three options for codes 
Well, again, this is just a short kind of tutorial on how to export all of your codes uh, that have been coded and the text associated with the codes and the order and the hierarchy of that uh, to each to each parent and child node. Uh, and you remember, you can export it to as a dot document or a dot PDF or an Excel file, whatever works best for you. And it makes it easier to share it then with your entire team if you're working on a team that doesn't all have NVivo. Thank you for listening to my tutorial. If you can like and comment it, uh, I would appreciate it. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.